Today we are going to be looking at new options in offset modifier for grease pencil available in 3.5 alpha. So this is how it looked like in the old blender 3.4. So we have general section and we have randomized section which would displace everything randomly. So it, it's it's based on strokes. Uh, in the new version 3.5 now we have options so we have general section which was now moved in a panel and we have advanced and this was the settings used before and now we have three more in if we look at the construction of this scene uh, it is totally flat as you can see here and we have some layers sky mountains hills and pitch in the front and check out what now happens if I turn on this modifier. Now we have nice even displacement by layer and we can control uh, how far apart space they are, they are and for example how the thickness scales by the layer and if we turn it off and uh, check it in action if we move left to right uh, nothing happens everything st stays stationary and if we enable it now we have this nice parallax effect with just one modifier of course you could do it before uh, on each layer using transforms here uh, but now you can simply do it in one modifier and easily adjust all the parameters like this. Uh, the note here that the first layer uh, will still be stationary and uh, only the second and further on will be moved. Um, let's see another example. So I have here a new scene with material offset currently turned off. So this is useful uh, if you want, for example, create an army of Suzanne's, so we can turn it on here. Uh, so, array that goes in the X direction, and when we turn on arrays in the Y direction, this is what happens, and this is not good, but it works properly because uh, what it is taking into consideration is layer depth. We can switch here from 2D layers, so this is your uh, layer depth here, we can switch to 3D. But now we have another problem and it's called Z fighting. This happens because all those layers, all, all those strokes are on the same plane and they are fighting uh, for being displayed. And now with the new modifier, what we can do, we can set it to offset by material and use low values here. So this will create a tiny displacement. And now uh, we have our army of monkeys working correctly. So uh, in order to achieve this, I have to rearrange the layers uh, or material slots, uh, but also in the modifier you can shift the position like this and get some trippy effect. Uh, this setting also controls uh, grouping of materials or any other of those things together. Now let's check another one. So this is stroke displacement and uh, what this will do, let, let's first turn it off and see the configuration. So this is just one stroke using array modifier. Now what we can do is turn this on and now just playing with those parameters where we can get some nice effect going. <laughs> 